What's going on guys? Welcome back. It is the 23rd of September. It was pretty chilly this morning, but it's going to warm up today and it's going to be pretty pretty warm. It's going to be unseasonably warm actually for the next couple days right into Monday. It's going to be in the 80s. Just kind of doing a family paddle around fish today. Riley's over there in her kayak. My parents are on the way. My brother's going to be here shortly. So I'm not going to do any heavy fishing. I'm going to just be kind of paddling around and if we pick up a few fish, it'll be just a bonus. But we're going to uh, get after them and see if we can find some fish. Watch out, Dad. Try not to hit you. I don't want to even to hit you. There's a fish. Right off the bat, it's a pickerel. Right by the boat. Perfect release. Can't ask for a better release with a pickerel. Oh, it's a fish. It's another pickerel. Oh, perfect. Second one. Popped off by the boat. Uh, yep, yeah, once I finish this cove, we'll go to our secret cove. A lot of fish jumping in here. Have a line. Yeah. I want to try this pole so bad. That paddle? Yeah. Let's try it. So try it. Here, take mine so I don't drop mine. No. Oh, big fish in there. Oh my God, there's a big fish in there. Um, nope, you're good. I just had an absolute giant fish roll on this. About 10 to 15 feet offshore there. From what I could feel, I didn't get any contact at all with a fish. But that was a big fish. Yeah, the fish didn't even, didn't even touch it again. That would have been a good fish to get. That was a big one. I have to peel this coat off in a minute. It's getting hot. There's a lot of fish in here, but just really not committing that well. Yeah, it is too hot. I gotta take this off. Oh, there's fish all through here. Oh. Something's coming for it. Oh my God, big fish in there jumping. I don't know if they're going after dragonflies. There's a lot of dragonflies around. Oh, oh, there's a fish. I don't know yet. Oh, it's another prick roll. All right, enough, enough, enough. I don't have many of them flukes. Enough, enough. Pick roll central this morning. I just tossed it, sorry, right? Oh, fish came from like 100 miles away. That's what that fish was. Came from like 10 feet away, but... Just nosed right up to it and stopped. <laughs> Normally pickle don't do that. Normally pickle will annihilate whatever they're going after, but that could have been a bass. Oh, 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 oh. Fish are just swirling on it. Like that fish didn't even hit it, and that's pretty much right in the open. Another nice fish jumped on that. That one looked like a bass. It's hard to tell though. That could have been a pickerel. Oh, something smoked that. Oh, it's another pickerel. These pickerel are out of control today. I mean, nothing, nothing huge, but that one absolutely crushed this thing. Don't get me wrong, still fun to catch, but not what I'm looking for. Another one nosed right up to that. A lot of bait fish around. Oh, there's a big bass in there. There was a big, like, four pound bass in there. There's some bait right here. A couple of small bass. 
And this fluke I have on matches the bait almost perfect. I mean, there's some shiners down there. And that's what that big bass was by. I don't know if he was following them. But, I mean, this fluke is like matching the hatch perfect. Bunch of little guys. Hmm. Little fish everywhere. Little bass, little pickerel. Here we go. Lost that, whatever that was. Yep, something on that immediately. As soon as that hit, it knocked it right to the side. There was fish all through here. I bet I've seen about a hundred bass about that big swimming down there. There are so many small bass down there. Yeah, about a two pound bass. There are a bunch of bass in here, like, like big bass, but they're just not really committing to anything. Water is crystal clear, and I'm about four feet of water, and I can see right down to the bottom. And another bass right there. All right. I'm going back to the spinnerbait. I'm going to head out a little deeper. I'm going to get into some deep weeds and see if there's any fish in them. A fish, that's a fish. First bass of the day. Just a little tiny guy. First bass of the day, just a little tiny guy. Uh, he's got a little wound on his fin there. Looks like something maybe tried to, tried to get him, like a pickerel or something. Been fishing for about 20 minutes and that's the first bass I've actually seen. With the exception of the ones that were, oh, there's a fish. That fish knocked this spinnerbait probably five feet to the side that hit it so hard. He didn't get the hook, but he certainly got it enough that he probably won't take a follow-up. Yeah, that was probably a good bass. If that was a pickerel, that pickerel probably would have been all over that fluke. There we go. I don't know if that's the same fish, but right in the same area. Please don't be a pickle. Nope, oh, decent bass. Certainly not a giant, but definitely better than what I've been getting. They've got them big fall bellies on them. And they're really packing up for winter and that fish smashed that thing. I moved out into some deeper weeds. I'm in probably eight feet of water and I'm over a weed bed that either comes right up to the surface or about two feet under the surface. And ever since I moved out here within the, um, fish. Within the first five casts, I've hooked up with a, a couple bass here. This is the third bass and five casts over this deep weed bed. So that may be the pattern for the day. Yeah, not a giant, but at least they let me know they're out here. I think they're gonna be probably on the deep weed today from the looks of it. And then bass have come off of this spinnerbait. It's a white head with kind of a brown natural body on it. I just swap skirts. That's a fish. That was kind of a lazy hit. It just came right up behind it. Feels potentially like a decent fish. He's kind of running right at me. Ah, yeah, no, not that big. I'll take him though. It's just a little guy, but again, just big belly on it. You know, they're really feeding up for our fall and. That uh, came off the spinnerbait. I tried a couple crankbaits and just weren't able to get hit off them. Same pattern, deep weeds, about eight feet of water. Weeds either right up to the surface or about two feet under. Oh, there goes the eagle. Just above the tree line. Oh, there goes another one. Just above the tree line. Oh, there's three, there's one, two, three. Normally don't see all three at once. Oh, 
Oh wow, eagle right there, right in front of me. Look at that eagle right in front of me. I didn't even see that when I cruised in here. I don't know if that's a fourth one. I saw three fly over there, so I think this could be a fourth one. That's such an amazing bird. I hope that comes out good on the camera there. Look at that. Oh, there he goes. And here comes my parents and Riley. They're in that little boat right there, right in front of me. Not sure if you'll be able to see it, but they're gonna come over here and meet me and we're gonna fish around together. Here we go. Ah, little bass. Little bass. Off the fluke. That fluke's just about as big as this little guy is. Just a little guy. That came off of this Zoom Super Fluke. I think that color is an Arkansas Shiner. Oh, some big fish in there. Oh, 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 got him. Another little guy. A little bigger than that last one. Oh, nice hit in there. Hit this when I was running it on the top. Oh, something knocked that right to the side. All right, I'm just gonna fish this shoreline, then I'll be back. Okay, we'll see you there. Love you, Rye. Yeah, something small messing with it. Well, I gotta say, I'm a little surprised by the lack of fish down this way. This is normally a great spot, but for some reason, they're just not in this area. A little attention from a couple small ones, but other than that, nothing solid yet. Nice crystal clear water down here, good water quality, but the weeds are starting to kind of die off a little bit, so I don't know if that's got something to do with it. Oh, I'll try the spinnerbait a few times. Oh no, a drag slipped. Oh no, come on, come on, come on, come on. Went to set the hook on this fish and my drag slipped. And then he pulled me into the, into the brush, almost hooked my pole. There, glad I at least caught a fish. Make that two mile paddle worth it. Caused a little more commotion than I wanted to in here. It's almost starting to, oh, oh. Is that a little, oh, that was a little tiny, tiny fish. Oh my God, whatever that was, that was huge. That was big, whatever that was. It looked like a big bass, but could have been a pickerel. Probably a bass where he's not hitting a follow-up, unfortunately. Oh, 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 oh. Oh man, something rolled on that like twice. Just barely bumped that each time. Oh, that ain't good, that's a mess. I've never seen that happen before. You got it, you got it. Little bass, that was probably the one that hit me twice earlier. I had to take about two minutes to retie because my line got all wound up in my spinner bait and that was probably the fish that hit me couple times. Well, I gotta say I'm surprised there's not more fish up in this stream. I saved this stream for this part of the day because it's so bright and sunny and hot that I figured with all this cold water rushing into this stream that there'd be some big fish in here, but I threw the spinnerbait, I threw the fluke, 
I use a fluke on surface. I let it sit for five or ten seconds. Um, I try to jig off camera and there's just no big fish in here that wanted to eat anything I was throwing at it. All right, so I just came out of that channel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish this shoreline. Um, there's some lily pads about another. Is that a fish? That's a fish. Holy cow. Um, I really lost track of what I was saying, to be honest with you. Um, I kind of forgot what I was saying. I think what I was saying is I'm gonna head down this way. There is some lily pads I'm gonna fish. But this guy kind of surprised me. I really weren't expecting there to be a fish there. All small fish today. Nothing, nothing of any size. That fish came off of um, just kind of the back side of this little point that came out here, that little land point. I mean, there's nothing except a mucky bottom. And that fish must have been hiding right up against shore, I would imagine. So we're going to fish this far shore line here, and we're going to call it good for the day. My parents are already headed back with their boat, and I'm going to be right behind them. Oh my god, that was a big fish, and I actually hooked a tree branch there. That was a big bass. Just another tiny bass. I'd like to get something a little bigger than that. There's a fish. Another little guy. Another teeny tiny fish. All right, folks, that is all for the day. I could not find big fish anywhere on this lake. All I found were them pound, pound and a half ones. I got one that may have been pushing three, but for the most part, they were just all the small ones. It was just very strange conditions for this time of year. I mean, it's 85 degrees, blazing sun. Surface temp is probably right around 70 degrees. And I just don't know where the fish were. I couldn't find them. I talked with, a, I talked with one other gentleman that was fishing and he weren't having much luck either. So I think it was just a tough day overall. But the primary goal weren't fishing. And it was just down here for some family time, paddling around and if we caught fish, it was just a bonus. But we're gonna wrap this one up for today and we'll see you guys in the next one.